Oh, here we go. I don't know, that took me about 15 or 20 minutes, but it's raining now. Sometimes this is all you can really do <clears throat> when, um, when you're weed whacking for a, what I call a who gives a care um, type of yard. Now, this dude is really cool. Um, I, don't know, I don't know what, this, what the situation is with the landlord, but but holy cow, man, that's a mess back there. Um, it's starting to rain pretty good. Not pretty good, but it's sprinkling kind of heavy. I was going to spray all of this area. I, I've got some flags out from the last time I sprayed. Um, and the, the spray that I'm using kills the plant. But that's not to say that other plants aren't going to come up in its place. You know, it will kill what it touches, but other things still come up. And we've got like dandelion farms and weed farms like this. I don't know if, if this is his property. I don't, I don't think that it is. This, this is kind of like a strange area between houses. But when you've got areas like this, you know, you, you're really not doing a service to your neighbor because what grows here is going to eventually grow there. Oh, see, my step is still kind of sort of there. He doesn't ever go down here, and I, I wouldn't advise anybody to go down there. But I don't know. It's important, I think, to keep the weeds down in areas like this because you don't know who's hiding back in them. But anyways, he's not paying me to go all the way back through there. Although I, eh, I may decide I, I want to cut a little bit of a path. Eh, we'll see, I guess. And then I'll get back to you. All right, there's that. Some more adventures in weed eating.